Welcome back to Mighty Guys Barbecue. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be doing up a super simple strawberry glazed baby back rib on the Yoda YS 640S. I'm gonna show you how to make that super simple strawberry glaze and also an adobo barbecue rub to toss on those ribs before we fire them on in. Super simple, super tasty. You ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's get our all purpose adobo tossed together for our rub. I got a quarter cup of a kosher salt that I threw through the coffee grinder. I didn't turn it to a powder, I just broke it down some. I also got one and a half tablespoons of Mexican oregano, also through the grinder to break it down so it flows nicely. I got two tablespoons of garlic powder, one and a half tablespoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, it's gonna give us some nice color, and also one teaspoon of ground cumin. I'm gonna get that into a container, shake it up, and let me bring it right back. All right, let's get our rib rub here now. Three tablespoons of a dark chili powder. I got one tablespoon of that adobo that we just made up, and also one tablespoon of brown sugar. All right, we got our rack of baby backs. I did remove the membrane. As you can see there, just gonna hit it up with our adobo rib rub we just threw together. Gonna go a little bit on the bottom here, not much. Flip it over. Come right across the top. Give yourself a nice coat up here. Using no binder, as you can see, you don't really need it. Just gonna toss these here in the fridge. For about a half hour or so, we'll bring it back when we toss them up on the Yoda. All right, we got the Yoda set at 250, but running the Bear Mountain pellets bourbon. As you can see, we got our ribs here. We're gonna do some upper deck cooking. Toss these right up on top. You want to straighten them out. You put them like a smiley face. That's how they're cooking. Just like that there. I'm gonna let this go for about an hour. We'll be back to check on it. All right, let's get our strawberry glaze going. I got a half a jalapeno minced up. I got one tablespoon of canola oil. I'm just gonna let this cook down here a little bit, probably for about five minutes or so. As you can see, cook down here. I got a pound of strawberries cut up into the pan. I'm also gonna add three quarters of a cup of water. I'm gonna let this cook down here. I'm gonna reduce this water down to about half or so. All right, we've been going for about 10 minutes or so. As you can see, these strawberries all breaking down. We reduce down here a little bit. Now we're gonna add up some strawberry jam. A couple tablespoons. A little bit of honey. Another couple tablespoons. Ketchup, probably about a tablespoon. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. About a tablespoon or so. And we'll hit it up with a little bit of our adobo rub. Maybe about a teaspoon. Give that a little stir. I'm gonna let this cook down, probably for about another least half hour or so, till everything is broken down. All right, we've been an hour. Let's see how we're looking. It's starting to get a little bit of pull back there. 
that rub is set. Just gonna spray down a little bit of straight water. I'm gonna let this run for about another hour or so. Be back and give her a check. All right, it's been a half hour. As you can see, we're all broken down here. I'm gonna shut this down, let it cool for a little bit. I'm probably gonna throw this up in a blender to smooth it right out. All right, we're about four hours in. Let's give her a check. Pretty much checking for tenderness. There's no resistance right there. I'm gonna hit these up with our glaze. I did run it through the blender. We're gonna let this go for about another 10 minutes or so for this glaze to set. We got our rack pulled and rested. It is looking mighty fine. Let me get a couple slices going in here. See right in there, looking pretty damn good, right? Got some juices flowing in there. Get a couple sliced off here for you. That is looking awesome. We get a couple more cut up. Get a quick beauty shot, and I'll bring you back for a taster. <laughs> All right, let's get a taste test going. Looking mighty fine. Those ribs right there are rocking. That adobo sauce is pulling right through. And that strawberry glaze right there, that is on point. Damn, you know, one more bite on this one. That is knocking it out. Flavor laid right through that rack. No wrap, four hours, simple adobo barbecue rub, simple strawberry glaze. You're not gonna beat it. Damn, give it a shot. Thanks for watching, stay safe.